Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word of all the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Yeah, man, so, uh, hey, through the Spirit, we're going to bring out this, this little short epistle. You know, a faith booster. And it's based on um, Elder, Elder Yashawamba's uh, epistle from, what was it from the day? I think it was from the day before yesterday or either yesterday. It's called The Just Shall Live by Faith. Now, man, this is a serious, this is a serious, this epistle is beautiful, man, number one. And I, I, the, the, uh, the, the title of the epistle is, is gorgeous, bro. The Just Shall Live by Faith. You know, it's, it's a scripture. The just shall live by faith, and um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna repost this epistle as well as put it in the description box of this video. So click on the title of this video, and this should drop down. Okay. Now he's going into um, Esau right here. Let's just listen to it, just a, a few seconds of it. Okay. And as you can see, all right, the devil is not going to stop. All right. U.S. Treasury deputy. Set secretary warns unjuiced Americans that shortages will continue until everyone is stabbed. Madness. All right. And you see the time. 1144, 144. Call Halal Yahweh Shai. But as you can see, it says the, the deputy secretary at the U.S. Treasury has. Been you know, uh, once again, you know they're they're putting it out there that the uh, the people that don't want to bow down, you know, to their system, to their image, to their rulership, to to whatever they tell you to do, you know, uh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna hurt us <laughs> in one way or the other. That's basically what they're saying. And uh, you know, he he made me laugh in this epistle because he said they simply will not stop, bro. No man, this is Esau either of the Caucasian race, man. The devil that the Bible speaks of, bro. I mean, uh, as the scripture proclaims, you know, that there shall be no, unless you have Bashim Asha shorten those days, there should no flesh be saved. Let's go get that real quick. Now, um, we're going to bring out, bring out a few scriptures, man. Just a real short epistle. Um, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 22 and except those days should be shortened there shall no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened right and uh, you know uh, throughout this whole epistle while he was bringing it out man I was just uh, I was kind of like thankful I was I was rejoicing in, in you know in the spirit man because as the scripture proclaims uh, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them because uh, based off, off, the, off of the scriptures that Yahweh Shema Shah has given us he's telling us you know constantly don't you know these things must come to pass you know through much tribulations we're gonna we're gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven all these things we're gonna go get some scriptures here uh, and just bring it out and uh, hopefully it'll be a, a you know a nice faith booster uh, exhorting to once again reassure us, brothers and sisters, we gotta. It's, it looks like it's about to rain again, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna bring it out. This is the book of Ecclesiastics and the Apocrypha. Okay, chapter two, verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh Shemashi and was confounded? Okay, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him, man? You know, with that pure heart. In all truth and sincerity. For Yahweh Shem is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, right? And have, and saveth in the time of affliction, right? So coming back to the understanding that we, the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, are his lost, lost are all his chosen people, right? All these things are written four time for our learning. Uh, and, and you know, these these prophecies must be fulfilled, right, before the kingdom of heaven. You know, all of it, all of this whole story. Is the plans of Yahweh Shemel Shah because he's got something so great that we can't even imagine. You know, he's the creator of all things, and this is his, this is his will be doing, man. So you know, um, when he was when he was uh, you know proclaiming this this truth this uh, this epistle, you know, um, 
that the just shall live by faith and uh, all the plans of the wicked and you know the strippers was just coming into my how my head how um, what we're reading now you know look at the generations of old and see did any ever any trust in Yahweh Shem Hashem was confounded and it's, it's no man because the Lord has always given us a plan way that this, hey it, it's gonna be fine bro and I'm just laughing I'm just I'm just so happy that these things are coming to pass because as the stripper proclaims and they love not their lives until the death man can't wait to get out of here last night before uh, before I um, opened up the camp I was setting it up the brother that you know there's one brother here that, that has began to you know Lord willing continue on also watching the videos and 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 believe right and he stopped by the camp you know I told him I was about to start it up he's gonna watch it on he said he's gonna watch it later um, he was asking me if I had a good day I, I brought it up last night I'm like no you know fuck it man we ready to get the hell out of here right cuz Yahweh Hashem Hashem is giving us a promise that we're gonna have rulership over here this is this is Esau's kingdom this is his heaven we, we're waiting on we're waiting on our heaven we're waiting on our kingdom to come bro you know be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai right let's read some more of this in verse um, so Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 12 woe be to fearful hearts right so hey man give it up Put your trust, all your trust, in, you know, in your how about Shema Shah. Believe in these words that he's, he's given us. And pray for faith. You know, pray for understanding. Pray for, pray for hope of salvation. Pray to, pray to be uh, one, one of the 144 elect and one third of the children of Israel, right? And, you know, if you're, if you're in this wise council, you're watching them, you know, uh, like we are, you know, putting on as the elect, you know, doing everything. That is being brought out by all the brothers, all the elders, the apostles, all the big brothers. You know, doing, following the strip that you have by Shema has put forth for us to do. You know, uh, repenting with our whole heart and walking on this path of righteousness, believing in His word. What more can you? What more can? Because what the strips are telling you right here: woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth two ways. Right. So we want to keep our eyes single. We want to do the things that please you by Shema Shah. Woe unto him that is fearful hearted, faint hearted for. He believeth not, right? But we, we're not faint-hearted. We believe. We, we're waiting on it. You know, we're waiting on these things to happen, like at, at the edge of our seat. You know, um, and as the brothers were bringing out last night, which I gotta also repost. Um, oh man, and you know what? Through the spirit, because I was, I was wondering what happened to the, I think as the head of the Truth Be Sent camp, um, and lo and behold, um, Elder, the Dallas camp was with those brothers. You know. And I was like, there he is. I haven't seen him in a long time, man. That's the spirit of the power you have about Shema Shah. And it was a beautiful epistle speaking about the same thing. Hey, even if we have to die for this truth, it's okay because we believe, you know, there's what written that Yahweh Shah, that Yahweh raised Yahweh Shah to the, from the dead. And he said, hey, you know, if, if, if some, he said, some of you, you know, will not touch death here, taste the taste of death here. You know, some of us are going to be martyrs and all this is fine because... At the end of the day, Yahweh Shem HaShah say, all Israel shall be saved, right? Woe to them that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended, right? Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Right, once again, you know, these words should reassure you just to keep, continue, hold that fast which ye have, which uh, uh, the brother uh, Give and Go just brought out just now. Hold that fast which ye have, bro. Um... Just you know, everybody's doing their everybody's doing their job. Everybody's doing. Oh man, it's it's a beautiful sight to see. It's it's beautiful to be a part of this ministry. It's beautiful to have come out. Yeah, by Shema Shah called us out of this darkness into this marvelous light. It's beautiful to see the downfall of this fucking wicked ass kingdom. That is so evident. You know, once again, these things. Even you know the video with the video. Hey, it it, it just makes it even more. It builds up our faith even more to know that these motherfuckers are gone. You know, they're doing exactly what Yahweh Shem said they're going to do. That's what, you know, that's what they do. They can't, they, you know, they're, they're built, they're designed to do this. They're the wicked of this society. I mean, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of, hey man, as it is written, bro, shoot. You know, these, and now I got to repost. It's about the rain, man, for real. We're going to have to move a little bit over there. Look, I'm gonna have to repost that that video. I kept that video, man. I'm gonna repost it. The curse of Cain. Yeah, by Shimon, I got these motherfuckers set on a simply slippery slope, right, man? These 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 these, these motherfuckers, they think they they think they're the shit. They're still full of pride, bro. Uh, but it's all the will of your how about Shimon Shai, man? They they feel so full of full of pride, but they got the curse of Cain. They're like the deaf adder that's stopping up the ear, bro. Man, boy.
So, man, we looking forward to all these things. We looking forward, forward to all these uh, these uh, unrighteous decrees and all these things, man, to bring the downfall of this this kingdom, man, bring it to a close, right? Come on, because what? Let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah. And I got I got uh, look. We got one more scripture after this Isaiah to bring out. We're gonna close it up. Uh, Isaiah, what chapter ten, verse twenty? And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smoked them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. In truth, bro, we're not gonna win because what? How about you? shall say, my servant shall eat. You know. We, he's telling us what's going to happen in these last days. So we don't have to worry about none of this stuff, bro. We're just waiting on it to happen. That's what, once again, rejoice ye heavens that ye that dwell in him, in them, right? Because, hey, the devil has come down with you having great wrath. He's pissed off. He said, you know what? We're going to cut all this shit off until y'all motherfuckers uh, take the, t get, 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 get the medicine. You know what I'm talking about? What the hell? You, you saying, they, they saying that they love us so much. They're gonna stop the food supply and shit. You know, they're gonna starve your ass to death, but but they love you. They wanna make sure you're safe. You're gonna be okay. Man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? So hey, come on, we're gonna get this last scripture right here, which is another faith booster right here. One of my favorites in the in the in the, in the scripture because it just it's it's um and what and also what the scripture say, um it says um there's nothing new under the sun. Check this out. This is the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 1. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There come a great multitude, right? As the stripper proclaims, a great multitude of, of is kindled, a fire of great multitude is kindled above you, man. You know, these, uh, this NW order, you know, these mother, they're trying to, they already got us, told us to lay down so they can walk over. They've, they've been oppressing us the whole time, but they just can't, they can't stop. As, as the elders say, they just can't stop because, yeah, how about Shem Asha designed them to be the perfect devil. We could raise them up so it could bring them, and they'll bring them, they bring their ass down, bro. There come a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side, Syria, and behold, they be in Haz Hazron, Hazron, Tamar, which is in, in, in Gedi, okay? And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek Yehobah Shemashah and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of Yehobah Shemashah. Right, just like right now, we're being gathered by the word. And what are we doing? We're asking Yehobah Shemashah for forgiveness. We're asking Yehobah Shemashah for mercy. We're turning back to the old, to the old way, to the old paths, you know? Uh, putting on as the elect, uh, being that 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 uh, humble, noble vine, you know, to the best of our abilities, bro. You know, just fulfilling prophecy, Lord willing. You know, um, you know what I'm talking. Y'all you, you know what I'm talking about, man. And Judah gathered themselves together to help, to what? To ask help of Yahweh Shemashah. Please have mercy on us, Yahweh Shemashah. As King David said, deliver us from, from. Um, your sword, you know, which is Esau Edom, man, the wicked, which is your sword, bro. Even out of all the cities of Judea, they came to seek Yahweh Shemashah. Right. He said, Yahweh Shemashah has told us right now, as we wake up to this understanding, to seek ye the Lord while ye may be found. Call upon him while he is near. We coming back, getting to know him. Like this, these epistles right here of the build, building up the faith of Yahweh, you know, fill, building up the faith of, of, of the children of Israel. You know, so they, so they can, can understand and know who their power is. Know who Yahweh Bashim al is, man. And he's for them and none else, bro. And all of this is written a four time, written for a learning. He's already declared the end from the beginning. You know, he's already said these things are going to happen. They're happening. You know, the kingdom of heaven is about to be established, my man. Can you get to a boy? <laughs> can you do? Oh, man. He will say, he's got to wipe away all the tears, bro. Lord have mercy. Okay, 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 okay. Look. Jehoshaphat, this, so this is verse 5. Let, wait, let's go back to verse 4. So this is 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 4. And Ju Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of Yahweh Shemashah. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. 
and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God, God, Yahweh Shemashah, God of heaven? And ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in, in, thy, in, in, in thine hand is there not power and might? So that none is able to withstand thee, bro. This is Yahweh Shemashah, okay? This is the God that we, that's, this is the God that we serve, man, you know? I want to read that again, man. And he said, O Lord, God of our fathers, Yahweh Bashim Ashai, art, art not thou God in heaven, and ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? Okay? And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? Art not thou, thou our God? Okay? so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians who did is drive out the inhabitants of this land before the people, before thy people Israel and give it to the seed of Abraham thy friend forever and they and they dwelt there and had built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name saying if when evil cometh upon us as a sword okay judgment or pestilence or famine we stand before this house and in thy presence for thy name is in this house and cry unto thee in our afflictions then will then thou wilt hear and help right then will thou hear and help man and that's what we're doing right now bro now y'all you go read this this uh this second chronicles chapter 20 uh you know and it's right there man it's, it tells you how Yahweh by Shem delivered the children of Israel from the hands of their enemy. You know, it, I mean, it just basically tells you that he. Let's jump to the. Let's jump. Let's jump to the point. So you know, just to make it. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, I want to read. I want to read this part up here too. I'm gonna jump over to verse 14. Then upon Jehazel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benah, the son of Jeel, and the son of Matani, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, Asaph came the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah in the midst of the congregation, okay? And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus said Yahweh Shemashah, thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this of the of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but Yahweh Shemashah's, bro. You know, so hey, we should not be afraid, as Yahweh Shemashah said. Not don't be fearful or, or faint hearted, right? In the apocrypha. You know? Because look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any put the trust in Yahweh Shemashah's were confounded? So man, we, we coming back, we done did everything possible, you know, as the strip proclaims us to do. You know, still and still every day. As a, as a big brother elder just brought out in his beautiful epistle as well, you know, um, we 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 the the outward man die, die daily, but the inward man is renewed. You know, roughly paraphrasing in the spirit. So every day we we we're seeking Yahweh Shemashah more and more, getting closer and closer, shaving off that old man, trying to get better and trying to get more more pure with the understanding. You know, being on one accord with Yahweh Shemashah. Uh, Dropping all those those doubts and those fears of who the Lord, who Yahweh Shemashah is, who we are, who our enemies are, we understand these things perfectly, bro. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, and we're seeing them play out here. You know, we, we're seeing everything that's written being played out here, bro. You know, and and what's next is the M A R K World War Three. All these things are coming up next. And Yahweh Shemashah said, "Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times." You know, hold it, knowing that Yahweh Shemashah is in control of all these things, as King Jehoshaphat just said, what we just read over here. Art not thou said, O God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven, and ruleth not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee. Right. So. You know, understanding that, that Yahweh Shemashah said not a, there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without his consent, bro. Knows how many hairs you got on your head, bro. You know, man, you got to, how, how, how far can you, you know, how It could be it mind-blowing to even try, you know. The, the smallest atom, molecule, all these things are created by Yahweh Shemashah. You know, power, okay. 
So look, we, we're gonna read this last piece, and then you know, if y'all wanna go read it yourself, I just wanna read this one more time. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, right? Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. And thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus said Yahweh Shemashah the Lord unto you. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reasons of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but Yahweh Shemashah. Right? Jumping down to 17. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Right. And that, that reminds me of the same thing Moses said. Stand ye still and see the salvation of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So, hey, man. With that, uh, this was gonna. Uh, I think we're just gonna name it a response to uh, the just shall live by faith. So we're living by faith. We're believing in this word wholeheartedly, you know, and giving all honors and praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, for this understanding, you know, to uh, for these words of wisdom to uh, keep us stable in these last days. You're right. So we're not freaking out. We're not having to worry about anything, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, said, uh, you know, um, don't, you know, he's going to feed, you know, just like he feeds the birds every day. Don't even worry about it, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shah said, don't even worry about it. Just trust in him. Keep that faith. Understand who you are, who your enemies are. And this, these things must come to pass. Through much tribulation, we should enter into the kingdom of heaven. But, you know, no matter what, Yeah, how about Shema Shah is right there with us. It's going to be okay, brothers and sisters. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.